Hey, are you stuck on the FRP lock screen of your Nothing phone? Don't stress, I've got you. In this video, I'll walk you through how to bypass FRP on any Nothing phone, including devices running Android 13, 14, and even latest Android 15. And guess what? We're using the free official Nothing Flash tool for this. Yep, no apps, no paid services, just the real deal. Whether you need to bypass FRP after a hard reset or unlock your phone in EDL mode, this guide will help you fix the Google account lock issue and get your device back to normal. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen, this is my CMF phone one and right now it's locked with FRP. After performing a factory reset, the device is stuck on the Google account verification screen. If you don't remember the password, just like me, don't worry. We're going to fix this step by step. Step one, boot into EDL mode. First, power off your Nothing phone completely. Now press and hold both the volume up and volume down buttons simultaneously and connect your phone to the PC using a USB cable. This will boot your device into EDL mode, which stands for emergency download mode. Once that's done, switch over to your PC screen. Step 2. Download the required drivers and firmware. On your PC, you'll need to install the correct USB drivers for your device. If your phone is based on a Snapdragon processor, like Nothing Phone 1 and Phone 2, then download the Qualcomm drivers. If it's based on a MediaTek processor, like the CMF Phone 1, then download the MediaTek drivers. I've added links in the video description to help you download the right ones based on your device model. Next, go to the link in the description and download the official stock firmware for your Nothing device. Once both files are downloaded, let's start by extracting the firmware. Just right-click on the zip file and extract it to any folder you like. Now extract the driver zip file you downloaded earlier as well. This will prepare the installation files which are required to detect your phone in flashing mode. Once both firmware and drivers are extracted, you can delete the original zip files to keep your workspace clean and avoid any confusion later. Now that everything's extracted, let's go ahead and install the drivers based on your device's processor. Installation process is pretty simple. Just open the driver folder and run the setup file. Keep clicking next and follow the on-screen prompts. The installation usually takes around 2 to 3 minutes, so I'll fast forward this part to save time. Alright, the drivers are now installed successfully. You can now go ahead and delete the extracted driver folder to keep things clean. Now open the firmware folder you extracted earlier. Inside you'll see many files. Don't worry, we only need one. Look for the file named nothingflashtool.exe, right click on it and select run as administrator. This will launch the official flashing tool. Now, before we start flashing, let's make sure your device is properly connected in EDL mode. To check that, press Windows plus X on your keyboard, then open Device Manager from the list. In Device Manager, scroll down and find the section called Ports. If your phone is in EDL mode, it should show up here, same like this. You should also see that the Nothing Flash tool says connected. That means everything is ready and we can now begin the flashing process. Now here comes the main part, so keep your focus here. In the Nothing Flash tool, click on the partition button at the top. Then select choose partition to select from the drop down. Here you'll see that FRP is unchecked by default. You need to check the FRP partition. The FRP partition stores Google lock data that prevents access after a factory reset. And that's exactly why we're going to flash it. Just click yes when the warning message pops up. Now back in the main screen, make sure these two options are enabled. Simply click on the start button to begin the flashing process. It might take around 5 to 6 minutes to complete, so just be patient. Once it's done, your phone will reboot automatically. So I'll fast forward this part to save your time. Alright, the flashing is now complete and as you can see, the phone has rebooted automatically. Just hang tight while the phone boots up. The first boot can take a couple of minutes, so don't worry if it feels slow. 
I'm gonna fast forward through the setup real quick, then we'll check the FRP status and see if it's gone. And here's the moment we've been waiting for. Check this out. The FRP lock is completely gone. No Google account verification needed. And yes, my CMF phone one is officially unlocked and we're back in business. So you just learned how to bypass FRP on any Nothing phone in 2025 using the official Nothing Flash tool. This method works on any Nothing phone, like the Nothing Phone 1, Nothing Phone 2A, and even other models that are running on Android 13, Android 14, or even Android 15. Did this method help you unlock your Nothing phone? Let me know in the comments and hit that thumbs up if it did. And if you're facing any issues, just drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching guys. This is Jarvis signing off.